go to hell and don't come back. If you want to look good, you gotta forgive everybody. It's all things Golden Globes on Culture Pop. Mmm, tasty. And what is up, Stu Crew? I'm John Bastow. And I'm Kristen Goodwin. I work with her at Buzz 60. And today we're talking all things Golden Globes. This is the beautiful mess we hoped it would be. What was your favorite part? Matthew McConaughey. Really? What did you like about him? All right, all right, all right. For his role in Dallas Buyers Club, he lost 45 pounds, or what actresses call being in a movie. Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, what did you think of them at the Golden Globes? Oh, I love them. I think they're great actresses. They're a great comic duo. My favorite bit was when Amy Poehler uh, played Tina Fey's uh, adult child for Mr. Golden Globe. Do you want to go live with your father? I can't! You won't tell me who he is! Julie Louis-Dreyfus, one of the funniest moments uh, in bits with Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. I gotta say that that's one of the coolest things about the Golden Globes is they let you eat while you're there. This is Jacqueline Bissett. She had the biggest viral moment of the show where she gives a delightfully awkward speech. Scottish background to the front. Did she have a speechwriter? She says her mother used to say, go to hell and stay there. I say like my mother. What did she say? She used to say, go to hell and don't come back. That's a harsh thing for a mother to say to her daughter. Jared Leto, you know, I knew he was going to win when I saw that hair. That looks like what a girl does when she comes out of the shower. They always look like they've just stepped out of the shower. Kate Blanchett, what do you think? I'm digging the lace. It's a nice dress. It's pretty elegant. I really like the lace and like the collar around her neck makes her look very stately. Lacy. It's very black, <laughs> I have to say. Um, it's different. I love the detail of the lace. I like the the way it looks together and I like it on her. I think it's very elegant, very nice. The material is very nice. Yeah. Are you on Project Runway? Kate Blanchett, regal, classy, always brings it. Booyah. Lena Dunham showed up channeling her inner Gouldens and basically she got criticized a lot for that dress. What do you think? Yeah, I think she looks like a bumblebee. The pose is what's throwing it off because that looks sort of like an ad for scoliosis. Too much yellow and it's not very attractive. When you have tattoos in places like that you shouldn't wear a dress like that. She's worn worse. I like the color on her. She needed to put a little of that, what is it, that tanning? <laughs> Spray tan. Spray <laughs> tan. There you go. I think that would have made it worse. Then she would have looked like the sun. <laughs> <laughs> this is Drew Barrymore. I love Drew Barrymore but I think it's a little bit too fluffy. <laughs> She's large, and I mean, like, I'm not gonna judge someone based on that. Well, she's pregnant. Oh, she, then that changes it. The dress is a bowl full of color, I guess I'll say that. <laughs> a bowl full of color. I, I don't know. I what, love it. I don't want to be. A bowl full of color. If it was more tailored around her midsection, it would be more flattering. You are very astute when it comes to the fashion. Uh, yeah, I like, I like clothes. <laughs> Too busy. <laughs> Yeah. With Peter Nyong'o. I say that name, it rolls off the tip of my tongue now. I had no idea what it was before the red dress. Look at her skin, like look at her face, like that is a perfect dress. It's very red. Again, I'm not a fashion guy, so I can't really tell you. I'm not a fashion guy either, but stunning. I just got back from Kenya, and it needs a little bit of a Kenyan kind of... Uh, flare in there and I think it would be stunning. Like tribal markings? I, something. Beautiful. A gang sign? Print. Yeah. Some kind of African print. He wants to Kenyanify it. Paul Patton. I'll say interesting. Wow. Is that part of the dress? Well it looks like an exploding tampon to some degree. It almost looks like the dress has a growth. I don't like all that like whirly swirl on this Well she there. has a Siamese twin that hasn't been removed yet. <laughs> Taylor Swift. A little too uh, junior prom. Oh she's so cute. It's not too flashy. It's just nice, simple, elegant. Maybe a little tanning. You, know, you really are a fan of the spray tan. Shoulders, yeah. <laughs> what about a Kenyan stencil? <laughs> not on this dress. This is uh, Zoe Saldana. Now, just to let you know, these did light up. And I do not know if it was battery operated or there was a cord, but they lit up like a little bit of a the, Christmas like, tree. Where the white uh, things are? Yeah, where the dots are. Oh right my there. gosh. Yeah. I said that she looked like light bright. Yeah, she's like Tinkerbell. It's electric. Is it electric? Like, literally? I love it. It looks like it's falling off of her, but in a good way. Forgive the pun, it's, it's, it's too flashy. What about a spray tan? She doesn't need a spray tan. Jennifer Lawrence, okay, who basically looked like she was strapped into a diaper, <laughs> became a huge meme after the Golden Globes, right. where they put, for instance, a dog in her dress, a little kitten also strapped into a towel. This is Colton Haynes from Teen Wolf. It looks like he's strapped into a bed sheet. I'm a Hunger Games fan, but really didn't think much of the dress. Who wore it best? The cat. The cat. The guy from Teen Wolf. <laughs> I'm John Bastow, this is New Media Stew, and your culture has been popped.